Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answer Series. Today we are in episode number 28 and the question is how can we replace an element at a specific index in a given array? If you are following the series, in the last episode we learned how to insert an element at a specific index in an array. Today the question is something similar on the same lines. Once you know how to in, uh, how to insert an element in a specific index, you should be able to easily replace it as well. We'll learn about it today. Let's get started. All right. Before I start writing code, I will request you to please check out my ebook, which covers 100 plus JavaScript coding snippets that every developer must know. These coding snippets will help you become better developer as well as will help you to crack the front-end developer interview role. You can find the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you want to, if you want any help with that, please write to me at surya.arath at gmail.com. Thank you so much. All right, so back to question. How can we replace an element at a specific index in an array? So we will need to make use of this the spread operator, I love actually using spread operator for most of the work that I do on a day to day basis. It's that powerful tool. So you sh once you start working with on these coding things, you will see how useful spread operator is and how you can integrate it into your regular day to day programming. So for to, uh, to fix or to solve this problem, we will use spread operator as well as array slice method. Right. So that's the logical approach we will take. So let's get started with coding. Right, I'll throw in the script. I'll throw in a array. Uh, let's call it um, student IDs. I mean, I keep using these simple basic things to show you uh, basic things, but you can you can give any meaningful names, any larger values if you would like. All right, so we got an array. Now our requirement is uh, replace at so what is the number that we want to replace? What is the position? One, two, three, right? So I'm going to replace this value, okay, which is at position number two. Uh, or rather, I can say it's one, right? Because it's one. Index-wise, it's number one. All right. So now, where do you want to replace it, right? So we figured out that, right? Now, what do you want to replace it with, right? So let's have an element. And let's say I want to have 15 instead of 20. I want... 15 okay so now we'll still use the spread operator and just with a minor change you can achieve that from what we saw last time so i'm going to say new student ids equal to now we'll use the spread operator and we are going to say student ids dot slice so this is yet another very important method um, whenever you're doing array manipulations uh, slice really comes handy so the more you practice uh, the better it would be right so I'm going to say 0 to repeat it and then it will come then my element will come the element which is basically 15 that I'm trying to in replace with. So now next what we need to do again we'll spread operator dot slice and we'll say now here the only difference from insert and replace is that here you would replace it with plus one so that one index gets added. Okay, so that's all the uh, difference would be. So if you say replace at plus one, that's it. That should um, fix up the, that should basically replace the value at a particular position or a particular index. Okay, now let's run this and see. Okay, so I got 10, 15, 30. See here, it, my original array is 10, 20, 30. And I'm saying replace it at position one, which is zero, one and replace it with 15 so this logic works right so if you see here 10 15 30 so that's pretty much how you would write a logic but see how simple how easy it is with spread operator uh, to work with especially with arrays and objects uh, so that's something that you need to uh, learn if you're not really strong at it all right so that's for today's answer like how can we replace an element at a specific index so make sure you try it out um, if you have any questions reach out to me in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you don't forget to get your ebook at arctutorials.gumroad.com if you have any questions write to me at surya.arath at gmail.com 
Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.